Hi everyone and welcome back to Manny Monday and my last summer nail design of the year. And boy, do I love it because first off it's blue and then we did it as if it was the sky with clouds and then we did some shadowing with palm trees, birds, we've got some leaf work, we've got the sun shining behind it to give it that shadow look and then the glitter. Oh, I sure do love them and I can't wait to show you guys the video on how I did them all freehand and had a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed all the summer looks I did. It'll be fun to go into the fall looks. I'm just sad to say goodbye to summer. Before we go on to the nail design, let's read our words of Jesus for women. We are on no room for pride, Luke 18, 14. All those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. And it goes on to say, there's no room for pride in the heart of a believer. Why? Because everything you have from intellect to talent to looks, it all comes from God. You had nothing to do with it. Jesus had nothing good to say about people who toot their own horns, brag it. Some people think so highly of themselves that they feel that they are above other people. They feel entitled to be treated better and to get what they want and to be first all the time. There is nothing in that behavior that shows God's love. Get rid of pride. Live humbly as Jesus did. Wow, that's a great one, you guys. We all need to learn to be humble. You know, the way we look, the way, you know, uh, the talents we have, all of that is a gift from God. We got that from God. So we need to humble ourselves and not want to, you know, be in that crowd, the center of the crowd where everybody's looking at us and saying, look at them, look at them, they are great. Or you want to yourself feel, I am great, I'm perfect at everything, I know everything, I have all these talents and everything. Well, you have those talents because of God, so give it to God and humble yourself. Be kind and be loving and don't be so, you know, it's all about me, it's all about me. You know, that's basically what he's saying. You have everything because of God and remember that. So let's humble ourselves and put God first. Remember that he is the one that gave us the talents, that he's the one that, you know, gave us our looks and all of that. So let's just be happy with what God gave us and stand way back in the crowd. We don't have to be up except for when we're preaching the good word. Then let's be right up front, right up front, spreading his word to everybody. That's where God wants you to be humble and to focus more on him, making him number one and thanking him for all the gifts he has given you and use your gifts for God. Always use them for God. This was a great verse. Remember Luke 18, 14, those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. The bottom says, it was pride that changed angels into devils. It is humility that makes men as angels, St. Augustine. And then it says, God, God's whole employment is to lift up the humble and cast down the pride. And that one was anonymous. That is just great how he lifts up the humble and casts down the pride. And it was pride that changed angels into devils. And it is when you have that pride that's what the devils come in. They do. You're all, you're working for the devil. You really are because you're not thanking God that, you know, realizing that the reason you have the talents you have and the gifts that you have. And, you know, if, you know, if you are a real beautiful person, I don't think I'm anything special, but you got really beautiful people out there. You're beautiful because God made you beautiful. And I know that I'm not ugly. I mean, God made me so I can't be ugly. Nobody out there is ugly. God didn't make a mistake, but I just don't think that of myself. And that's where I humble myself. You know, I'd love to do fashion, all that, but I don't think I'm anything great. I always find flaws in everything, but I just have to remember that, you know, God's given me many talents and many gifts and, you know, I have so much fun doing the nails, the toes, learn, you know, knowing how to do all of that, the talent he gave me. And then, of course, I love fashion. I really do. I love fashion. And so I tried to do all that I can for the Lord and having this channel, you know, trying to bring all of you to the Lord to get your salvation. It's the most important to me in the beginning of all my videos is to humble myself and let you guys know that we need to put God first. OK, you may love my videos, but remember, love God first because he first loved us. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with life's manual. Reading the Holy Bible and honoring it and obeying it and doing what God asks of you. That was a Bible verse that I read again, that we need to humble ourselves and put pride to the side. You know, definitely do. And 
pick this up. Get some quality alone time every day with the Lord and get that personal relationship with him and read the Bible. Challenge yourself on, you know, how you want to do it. Do you want to read the whole Bible in a certain amount of time? Do it. Do it. You guys can do it and get your salvation. If you got it today, write it down. I always say that because it's important to remember the day you won your salvation and that you are going to enter the kingdom one day. And let's just humble ourselves and have that, you know, don't have that pride inside of you. Don't think that you are absolutely great and nothing that in your life goes, you know, that you do is wrong. Everything's perfect. All of it. Don't be like that. Don't ever be like that. Remember, we get our gifts from the good Lord. So thank him. Thank him for that. Now let's get on to this last summer tropical nail design. I love all of you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hi everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for my very last set of summer nails. We did a beautiful tropical look with the sky, the clouds, palm trees, birds, and we did it all as a shadow and have the sun coming through it and some glitter. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to another Manny Monday and my very last summer nail design. Boy, that sure went by fast, didn't it? But I'm really going to go out with a great one here with the nails, the toes, and of course the Wear It Wednesday fashion. For starters here, we've done the nails with this beautiful sky blue, almost a light periwinkle blue. It's absolutely gorgeous gorgeous. Now, of course, you guys would have seen the cover, so you know exactly what I did. We're going to be doing clouds and some shadowing of some tropical looking um, palm trees, birds, um, like kind of like a forest type with the, the, the greenery, but of course, it's all going to be done in black as a shadow. So for starters, here's the blue I used, and hey, it's called Summer Rain. Got this one from Dollar Tree. Not sure if you can order this one right now because this was more in the summer collection, but I haven't got a chance to use it yet, and I love it. Beautiful. And then, of course, the white I'm going to be using from also the Kiss Gel. It's just the white, and I'm going to be working with that sponge that I've used before. I broke pieces off. I love this technique. Um, when I'm doing a gradient, I like the makeup sponges, but for doing like clouds and different things, sometimes the sponge work looks a lot better and uh, really turns out great doing, um, you know, the sponging with different types of sponge. And this one here I got from Menards. It's a great big sponge you would wash your car with, and I've used it so many times, and look at how big it still is. I've had it for like 10 years. You just need little pieces, and that's what I'm gonna do with the white paint, putting just clouds around on here, just kind of around to make it look kind of like a cloudy day, even though it's a summer look, but we still have the beautiful clouds that we get all summer long. And then I'm gonna be taking the acrylic black paint and a Robin's brush, her wand, and it's Robin Moses nailart.com is how you order them. But I will also link her YouTube page in my information box. I always do. If you go into her information box, her brush link is right in there. And if you order two right now, her wand and her unicorn, you get a free wand. So it's a great price and they're $10 a piece. Shipping took about five days. I keep them dirty in between and I clean them with 100% acetone, but they're one of the greatest brushes. She made them um, or had them designed and they're all red sable hair. They're beautiful, especially if you work doing her, uh, you know, copying any of her designs. They're great to work with her brush, but I just love her brush. They're just perfect. So that's what I'll be using to do all the work of the palm trees, the birds, the greenery and all of that course, doing it all like a shadow. I just think that's going to be beautiful. All right. And then, um, I did top everything off right now with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast so that when I go to do the art and everything, if I make a mistake, again, you can use 91% uh, rubbing alcohol and it'll come right off because I'm using acrylic paint. So it'll just come right off with that and you won't ruin your paint design. And um, I'm trying to debate if I'm going to go over the design um, with, I'm trying to think here. I've got kind of a jelly type yellow. And last week, let me show you. Last week I used, I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't sure if I was going to do this one. Let's see. Sorry, you guys. Or maybe this one here over the palm trees. I don't know if I'm going to, you guys would have seen the front cover. But just to may, maybe give it like a little glow of the sun over the um, the shadows. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Um, but I've got these here. Of course, you guys already know because you've seen the front cover. And then I think we're going to leave it right there. We'll dry everything up at the end with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat to make it a nice, beautiful, high shine. 
I'm going to get started, you guys, and I'll return. All right, now we've got the clouds over the top. Isn't that really neat, that technique? Now, I've done clouds before and actually made them look more like a cloud, but I want it to look like the days where it's just, you know, shifting clouds just going right over the sun like that and just, you know, where it's not a, a specific um, shape. It just looks like there's just a, they're all over, and that's what I wanted with this technique. So I've left a finger open to show you, and I will show you how I'm doing that. I've got it into my tweezers here. And I'm just getting the white, all right? And I'm gonna paint just a little bit on. And before I go ahead and paint, I'm going to take my uh, paper towel here and just kind of take a little bit off because we don't want this to be too bold. Otherwise it gets too, too bold. You know what I mean? I want these clouds to uh, look like, like they're just, you know, shifting across, like what it says, a cloudy day with the sun. So we're just going like that. And you could just go any spots that you want. You can go a little darker, a little lighter. And that's how I'm doing it, just sponging it in the spots that I want it. But it definitely looks like a cloudy day now. Isn't that beautiful? But, of course, this is a beautiful, sunny, cloudy day. We've got the sun going, but we got the clouds shifting over the top, and it's just looking beautiful. Let's pretend, right? All right, I love the way this turned out. Now we're going to get started on all the tropical stuff with the black acrylic paint. I'll get some done, and I'll come back in and show you guys. Alrighty, so now we've got this beautiful tropical look being done as a shadow. We've got palm trees. We've got a bird perched on a tree. We've got birds flying in the sky. We've got some uh, like tropical forest looking leaves. It's just gorgeous, you guys. I did do this thumb, but I left this one and this one so I can do a palm tree on one and some just tropical look on this one so you guys can kind of get an idea how I'm doing that. All right, so I want to do... Another palm tree on this one, and we'll perch the bird on this one. We'll do a bird on that one, so they're all different. All right, let me draw in, and I've got the black paint just in the little palette here. I'm just going to get a tiny little bit of black paint, and I'm going to do it going this way, okay, the palm tree. I'm going to kind of give it a little, uh, just, you know, a spot for it to, to sit on the, what would you call that? Just the, well, the ground, but a spot that it, you know, it will come off of. And then, like a mound. And then at the very bottom here, we'll make it a little wider, like this. And then we're just going to come up very lightly and just go off like that. Okay? Then I'm going to turn it back this way so we can do the leaves. And you don't want a lot of paint because otherwise we won't get that awesome, you know, look of the palm tree. So we're just going to set the brush down and just go like this real quick. Doing, and I'll keep turning it as I go doing it as the branches of the palm tree like that. Okay, and then we're going to do the little, uh, you know, the little parts of the palm tree. So like the little leaves or whatever. So just lightly with your brush, just swipe coming down like this very lightly, just kind of, you know, just brushing it, just brush strokes, but very, very light touch with that to give it that palm tree look. All right. So you get all the little lines on there like that. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Gorgeous palm tree. All right, and then over here, we're going to do the bird, okay? Let's see, over there, I did it that way, so we're going to do the bird this way. All right, I'm just going to kind of come, let's see, kind of just come down from here and work my way up and across so it can kind of perch on it. And I want to do another one just kind of just below it that I can just do a couple little leaves. We'll just go to one side to the other and give it a little pull and do another one here. Remember, this is a shadow. So, of course, um, you know, trees during the summer have all the leaves and everything on it. But this is a shadow. That's why it's looking more like, well, where are all the leaves and everything? We're doing a shadow. All right. A bird. I'm going to start off with the head, like right here. Just do a circle for the head. And then the body coming down, kind of like an egg shape for the body coming down. And bring it like that so you can fan out um, the parts of the bird at the bottom of it like that. And then just do a little beak coming out, the little bird's beak like that. And then you got a bird. Hopefully you've seen that. Isn't that cute? Little bird perched on a tree. All right. And we're just going to also put a couple more just kind of fanned out for the ends of his uh Body. And I'm going to just kind of round this a little bit more and I'm going to round the back just a little bit more. 
make it look more like a bird. There we go. Isn't that cute, you guys? Look at this. Isn't that adorable? And how it looks so awesome being um, the shadow, you know? So we're shadowing this like you see shadow. Shadows are awesome to see. You see them in most of my videos. You'll see my husband's shadow in there. Kind of hard to do when it's summery. So when it's summer, I mean, kind of hard to avoid the shadows. But there we go. Let me pull out just a little bit more. Now I'm going to decide if I'm going to go over them a little bit, like I said, with that. I think maybe the orange. I'm not sure yet, but maybe go over. I'm going to try one and see if I like it to make it look like maybe there's a little bit of that shimmer, a little bit of the sun glazing down on the shadows. I'm going to try that out. If it doesn't work, then we're just going to probably just top coat. I don't know if I want to make this glittery. I always do glitz things up, so I'm not sure. Uh, we'll decide in just a moment. Let me figure that out and I'll return. So I did do the yellow, just kind of coming through in just some spots just to get the idea of it being a sunny day. I do think that that is really pretty, just having some of that yellow come through. So I did do the yellow one, and I'll do this palm tree here to show you. And I'm getting very little paint. I'm just, you know, dipping in. This is a jelly. And the color, I never did tell you the color of it. The color is called Perfectly, it's per, let's see, to turn it over and show you. Primarily, primarily yellow is what it's called. And I think I got this from my good friend Jan. I think she sent it to me. Not sure. But I'm just doing a little bit. I wiped a lot of the paint off. And I just want to slightly just go through this. Just so it's like the sun is just kind of beaming through a little bit through the shadow. Just, you know, just a tad. Just giving it that little bit of beam kind of coming through, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, because it is supposed to look like a shadow. But, of course, you... Not through the shadow, but around it, you would get the sun like that. So I thought that that did, you know, was a great idea. I'm always doing glitter. I, I so badly want to run some glitter through this just to really uh, give it a little bit more glitz. So I'm not sure. I might do that. If not, we're going to top coat and I'll come back and show all of you guys the end product. Make sure everything's dried up though before you top coat. Did decide to give it a little bit of glitz because summer always makes things glitzy, right? It just makes things shimmer and shine and beautiful. So I did add a little bit of gold glitter as well through. And it's this one right here that I'm using. It's a two uh, color. It's by Revlon. And it's called, let's see, Photograph Ready Eye Art. Eye Art. This is for the eyes. Wow, I never knew that. Lid line lash. Wow. I never knew that. I'm going to have to go through those. I thought they were polishes. But anyways, I'm going to use it right now as a polish. I'm going to use the end one, the gold. But wow, I didn't know that I had these. Wow. So I left this finger open and I'm just going to go through it a little bit like this and just give it a little glitz just here and there sporadically, just giving it a little bit of sparkle, you know, just thought that would be pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And I love that this is Actually, for your eyes, your lid, I never knew that. Lid, line, and lash. Wow, you guys, I'm definitely going to be using this. And I have a few colors done in this. Awesome. I guess I learned something every day. I thought these were polish. They were over when I got it, over by the polish at Walmart. So maybe it was just because it was next to the eyeshadows too. But wow, I'm going to be using these. <laughs> But it worked fine for me giving it that glitz. All right, now I am going to top coat everything with the Sesh Feet Dry Fest, and I'll be back to show you guys the end product. All righty, everyone. I am all done with the last set of summer nails. And boy, I sure am going out with a great one with blue, for starters, being my favorite color. And then having it be the sky with clouds and then the shadow of a tropical look. We've got palm trees, birds, We've got leave work. We've got glitter. We've got the sun beaming behind it. It just all turned out so beautiful, and I love it for the last summer look. Sad to say goodbye to summer, but I've got some beautiful fall designs planned, and I can't wait for you guys to see them. I hope you enjoyed this look and all the summer looks I did this year, and also the Tootsie Tuesday toes that'll match with this, and the last summer fashion of the year. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.